Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a basic walking animation for your NPC Fortnite characters. And this is essentially what it looks like if you go into Fortnite. Characters walking there. It's just a basic walk. I think it looks pretty good. And of course you could film this. This could be a background character or somebody walking down the street. It's pretty good. I think it's really cool. There's just a couple little things about it. It's really not that hard to do. And we'll be back in just a minute and we'll get started on this. Okay, I'm back and we're ready to get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a blank island template project. So I'm gonna go into island templates. I'm just gonna choose a blank project. I'll leave it called my project and I'll just go create. And this is the project that we'll be working in ultimately. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the animation program and get some animations and migrate them over into here. So with this project set up, now I'm gonna go into file, new open project. We'll go into feature example and we're gonna go into this animation template and we'll just leave it called my project A and we'll go create. Now this will take a couple of minutes to load up, but once it's done, I'll be back and we'll go ahead and migrate some animation assets over to our project. Okay, so our animation project has loaded in. So what we're gonna do is come into mannequins here, we'll go into animations and you'll see we have nine animations here that we can take advantage of. So I'm gonna select the first one, I'm gonna hold down shift, and I'm gonna select the last one. With them all selected, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna to go to Asset Action, Migrate, and we'll go OK. And then I'm just gonna choose my project folder. So my project here, click there, select. Well, actually I gotta drill down a little bit more. So to this folder here, the content folder, and go select. And now it's going to transfer all these assets into my project. The only issue is that we need to restart for us to be able to see these assets in that project. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into file and exit, and then I'm just going to relaunch UEFN with my new project. Okay, with UEFN restarted now, I'm just going to go back to my project here and go ahead and open it. If we had tried just to open that project, we wouldn't have seen the assets transferred in. Okay, so now if I come into mannequin folder here, animations, you'll see there's my nine animations to choose from. So this is great. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go into my project folder here, and there's just a couple things we need to do. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a level sequence. So I'm going to right click, go to cinematics, and we're going to create a level sequence. Then we're gonna click on here on Fortnite folder and we're gonna search for the character device. There's actually all these characters to choose from now. Character device right here. And drag that onto the scene like that, put it right about there. And then we're also gonna search for a cinematic sequence device right here and drag this onto the scene. With the cinematic sequence device selected, we're gonna go ahead and where it says sequence and choose the new level sequence that we just, we're gonna check loop, playback, autoplay, and then down here on play, we're gonna click this plus sign and we're gonna choose our spawn pad and set it to play on player spawn, just like that and we can go save, and that's it. Now, if we want to change out this character, we just simply click on it, and if we come up here, you'll see we've got a whole wide range of characters to choose from. I'll just choose Arctic Assassin right there, and there she comes in like that. And believe it or not, we're on the home stretch here. So I'm gonna go back to my project folder here. I'm gonna double click into the new level sequence. With this character device selected, I'm gonna go add, add to sequencer and it'll be right there on top. And now this is added to the sequencer. So I'm gonna click this plus sign and I'm gonna get transform. Then I'm gonna click here on the timeline. I'm gonna hold down control and scroll wheel out. I'm gonna grab this red bar and drag it out to about 15 seconds. I wanna make sure that auto keyframe is on then I'm gonna select transform here and I'm gonna click that little plus sign to add a keyframe. 
Normally, when we were to animate this, we could use these controls and just click and drag, but that doesn't work here. So what we have to do is click here, open up location, and these XY values do not correspond to these XY values. You notice how this is negative 11, 38, and 0, and notice this is 0, 0, 0. Well, just having played around with this, I know that we want to move this character on the y-axis. So you can play around with these, but you have to adjust the keyframes here. So what we're going to do is click here to move the, the playhead to the end. And on the y-value, we're going to just, you can click and drag it, but drag her out. And just from having experimented with this, you can try different values, but I think 2000, let me just see if I can input it here. 2610 is a good value there. Let me zoom out. So this is a pretty far length that she walks here over about the course of about 15 seconds. The only other thing we need to do now is come down here with the character device selected, click where it says custom idle. And here we can choose from any of our available animations. And you notice we have at least nine, a lot more than we normally have. So you can choose idle, but we're going to choose this one here that says walk, no weapon. And then if I come back here to the very beginning and I hit play, you'll see the character moving, but she's not apparently walking, right? So everything appears to be in order. We're going to go ahead and pause that. Then I'm going to go ahead and just launch the session and we'll see how good it looks. Okay, we're back and I'm just going to go ahead and start the game. And we'll see how this looks. And there she goes. Looks pretty good. If you notice any slipping or sliding on the feet with the feet, then all you have to do, I think I can just walk like this. Whoops, where'd she go? I'm going to walk with her, so. <laughs> if you notice any slipping or sliding on the beat, then you can either make it go slower. That looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.